have the strategy well set, I'm going to focus on water. Similar sort of thing to what I did with... Um, what I did otherwise with uh, what's her face, Anastasia, Anastasia, whatever. But I'm not thinking that a turtle is going to hit as hard as she did, so I probably won't need as much resistive stuff. If I do, then I will work in the resistive element. Like, if she's weak against water, then I'll probably make her fire. I might make her fire anyway, but yeah, not the point. Anyway, I haven't seen the cutscene yet because I just got to the end of the level and that was that. So... Wow, the mist! It's there! The friggin' mist! It's right there! Yeah, this is definitely the culprit's mist, that is for sure. And Satori is the first to fall. They're followed by, of course, Patchouli. How, how did Satori fall second? I mean, first and Patchouli not. I uh, feel lifeless. So now the mist is strong enough that everyone. Wait, even Sakuya, Remu, and even the humans are falling to it this time. Except Moku, who's just standing there. <laughs> Definitely, but. Why is it affecting the humans? Oh, hello, you just teleport in. Sure. <laughs> yes, indeed. One of the culprits. Uh, apparently her name is supposed to be pronounced Viotova, so that's, yeah, it's not a B spell, it's a B spelling, but it's not a B pronunciation, so Viotova it is. Marku is the very definition of not mortal. <laughs> yeah. I, I knew that's what you really meant, but I just had to do that anyway. So Mist is the incident. Yep, of course. Wow. Okay, her laughing animation is still pretty awesome. Yep. Indeed. Misunderstand. Oh, great. Okay. Oh. So that's why. So it's basically a killer mist, but she made it not hurt humans. Ow. Okay, that... <laughs> She's smoking to make the mist, isn't she? And Moku is standing. Still. <laughs> After battle, yes, we have most definitely. Uh -huh. Okay, that's very true. So basically, she's trying to kill us with this here. Mm hmm. And yet, somehow, now, the mist is, like, gone. Of course. And of course, some of the, uh, the yokai are still down. The humans have come back up, but the yokai are still down. Yes, Byakuin is a yokai, so there you go. Just in case you forgot that. And technically, Yomu is half yokai, so she still counts. Uh, that's because she's immortal, damn it. Manipulation. Oh. We already have somebody who can influence people's deaths. Do we really need another life manipulator? Uh. Ah, that's cool. Better enough. Yeah. Because it is pretty much horror. Ah, she doesn't know that Marku is immortal. Now she's gonna find out. 
Yeah, Alice is the yokai. She's a very young yokai. She used to be human, but yeah, she's around about a hundred years old or something. But yeah, she she became a yokai. Yes, indeed. Somebody with that power is here. <laughs> Well, yeah, you're a turtle. Of course you're going to be long-lived. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, very true. I'm, I don't think she was born a magician, actually. Although, she might have been reborn a magician, but... Oh, I, uh... Why are you laughing as well? No, Ming, it's the third last boss, I think. Yeah. Whatever power you might have, it's not gonna stop us. Yep. <laughs> Here comes the mist power! What was that? It's unforgivable, right? Yep, 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 yep. <sighs> She's not gonna tell you, Raymu. <laughs> of course. Take you up on that. Let's go! Impossible! Um, I don't think it's impossible. Let's do it! Oh, she looks cool. Okay, that that's awesome. She looks, she looks pretty badass. Right, anyway. Let's get set up and we shall go ahead and kick some ass. Gonna res up because I'm not exactly sure what she's gonna do, so I might as well uh, defend. And let's start the enchantments by boosting Marku's attack power. Or maybe I should boost the element first. I don't know, either way I'm going to do that. So she's going to do that. It's just a basic attack, that's fine by me. And I miss. Great. Ugh, yuck. Death Thought, that doesn't sound good. Patchy, get rid of it right now. Haha, she does too. Look at that. So basically, she seems to be kind of like Tenchi, in the sense of she is a master of field effects. Might prove to be a bit annoying, but I have several field effects in my party. I've got two from Pachi, one spell, one non-spell, and I have, um, I have one on Alice. Basically because Alice didn't really have another slot to use, so I figured I might as well go with that. Uh, oh, typical I don't have an accuracy buff. I might F12 this just because I don't have an accuracy buff. And it seems like Maku might need accuracy in this fight. I didn't really consider that. Um, yeah, you know what, I'm going to F12 this so I can do that. Because I, I honestly didn't think of that. I didn't think she'd need accuracy. But, looking at it, she only has 95, which sucks. Uh, why does she only have 95? Because the axe is pretty terrible. So, yeah, let's go ahead and change your defense one for the accuracy one. Didn't really think of that. It's fine, it's fine. So, restart. Arctic chill, um... I'm going to put the accuracy up first turn, actually, because I think that's more beneficial. And weapon... Do I weapon blast or do I amp? I probably amp, actually, because that's good for everything. So now we'll just go do that. And she still misses! Oh, brilliant! That's going to be hilarious, right? <sighs> Well, I think that's okay, because I don't think her um, actual uh, attacks from skills are going to miss. So I think it's still okay. Uh, let's use Rainbow Parallel, because I haven't used that yet, and I reckon that should be good. So, first off, I'm going to concentrate on Patchouli, because Patchouli is going to be doing the core damage here. So, no, F... 
uh, well, F11 might be full screen. I don't think F11 is full screen in this game, actually. So it just buff up defenses here. And it still did a reasonable bit, that's fine. Wow, holy! 4,000? God, she did more than Patchouli, and Patchouli's using elements here. 4,000? Holy freaking hell. You know what, I'm not going to use Jellyfish Princess because it takes a bomb, and I think I'm going to need all the bombs for this. So, yeah. This boss is going to have the same amount of HP as the last one, so 65,000. And that's going to be irritating, but not particularly difficult to deal with in the end. Now, let's go ahead and enchant her weapon with water. And we'll go ahead and attack again. And that only did 2,000. I think she must have got a crit last time or something. Because, yeah, that didn't do as much. But, that's fine. Marku has one, two, three, four. She has five and stuff on her. That's kind of irritating. I, I want to have physical attack on her, but that's going to overwrite the accuracy buff. And now you don't have too much to do, so go ahead and do absolutely nothing, actually. <laughs> you really have nothing to do. Oh, she also has the defense drop. Hey, I didn't. No, all stat drop, actually, isn't it? Yeah, uh, no, just physical defense. That, I think, comes from the weapon itself. The weapon itself has a chance of cutting physical defense, so that's fine. Yeah, I can't buff her with anything else, so... Magic buff Sunno, because that will help her healing? I don't know, right, let's start attacking. What am I doing with all this for? If I'm going to go ahead and do this, let's go ahead and use the Hakuro so I can up my damage output. What am I thinking here? Seriously, I'm just... <laughs> Gotta actually do things in the proper order, man. You know what, spell enhance yourself. Just go ahead and do that. This man's death. That's what I'm talking about, man. That sort of damage is what I am talking about. And it has a cooldown, so I can't do it every turn. But that's fine. Um, That has a two-turn cooldown, but I ain't going to be using Stardust Sanctuary anyway. So, let's keep on going. Uh, what's my field like? Two turns, but she's probably going to cast one herself fairly soon, so that's fine. Nobody's really hurting for anything, so I don't care at the moment. Um, spell and uh, spell enhance has another turn left to go, so Starfire, see if I can get magic defense down. That'd be pretty good. And I can on this man's death every turn, but I want to have one go with Fujiyama Volcano. I want to see if this will do more or less damage because of my elements in chat. It does more! Holy freaking shit, it does more! That was almost 10,000. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. And I don't even have attack up on Marku. That's ridiculous. Wow. And it's only going to get better because I'm just about to up his damage by 15%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. This is this is what it's all about, man. It's Rainbow Pro on this turn. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna weapon blesser. I, it's probably gonna remove the accuracy buff, but I think Fujiyama Volcano is fine anyway. Except it's gonna go first anyway. Ah, ten and a half, ten point three, and now she's got barrier against that. God dang it! Sucks to be me. Right, okay, what does she cast? She has cast uh, attack, so she's buffed her attack. Oh shit, that removed the water enchant. Oh, balls. Um, that wasn't intended. Whatever. Um, don't care. Nobody needs healing, like, at all. 
A uh, little Legion just in case. Let's re-enchant her for water. And go ahead and Volcano anyway. No, not Volcano, because that's now going to have fire. Let's go with Honest Man's Death. Still does five and a half out of you know, nearly six thousand, so. You bitch! I just freaking took out that. Man! Okay, she is Captain Field Manipulator here, and this is annoying as all hell. Up yours. I'm gonna put another land on myself. I could put Arctic Chill back on. I probably should put Arctic Chill back on because that's one I'm using here. But, yeah. You don't have anything to do. You really don't. Defend. Um, I can't element weapons, so. Starfire, try and get that going. She's not got too much health left, so. That's good. Gotta be careful, actually, because I have a feeling she's gonna do a dick move on me here. 14,000! 14,000! 14,000 damage! In one shot! Speedy, what are you talking about? I'm still streaming. Did I mess up the title otherwise or something? Because, yeah, otherwise I'm still going, so I don't quite get what you mean. What? Really? How? I, like, typed the thing to go against- oh god, she's dead! <laughs> she's freaking dead already! Oh, on Twitch! Oh, fuck Twitch, I don't really care about that. Seriously. It doesn't recognize GOS anyway. <sighs> I don't trust her. I... I Did I even use Marissa's Hakuro thing? I didn't. That was 14,000 damage and I didn't even use Marissa's Hakuro. Wow. Just wow. I didn't even use the hacker. Jeez. That's nuts. I don't trust her. I'm little legioning because I really don't trust her here. Sixteen, nearly seventeen thousand, and hey, I was right to not trust her. I was right to not trust her. She was gonna one-shot me in my entire party. Just like Yuko did. I was right not to trust her. What a bitch. <laughs> what a bitch. This, guys, is why you have Little Legion, or at least some sort of thing. Yeah, poor, yeah, poor Alice, seriously, she took like 4,000 damage for the team there. Holy crap. Team player much? Yeah, seriously. Ah, <laughs> that was good. Really, I was expecting some sort of similar way of fighting her to uh, Anastasis, and I didn't expect her to do the same sort of damage as Anastasis, so honestly that was a very easy fight, because I dealt with it the same way that I dealt with Anastasis. Except I also happened to have a Slayer effect, which did like 17,000 freaking damage. Holy crap, Raku, you're just nuts. Freaking nuts, man. And she fell out of her shell. <laughs> I wouldn't say that, baby. Yeah, she kind of did, didn't she? <laughs> oh, yep. It is indeed. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> yeah, Raymu is kind of trying to steal credit again, isn't she? What will you do? Hmm? Of course not. Huh. Oh, Raymu, why did you say that? Why did you say that? Raymu, you stupid bitch. <sighs> you stupid bitch. <sighs> <sighs> Why did you have to... <laughs> oh, you... Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Everybody's all embarrassed because they're just like, Raymu, what the hell? <laughs> so now, there will be one. And she knows. Even Vio. Yep. You're gonna have to deal with us yourself, miss. Aww. All alone. Will there be none fairly soon? Oh, okay. So she's actually happy about being the last, ma uh, last woman standing. What is she? She is a Medusa. How promising. You're awfully confident. It's gonna be fun, alright. Also, take a look at her um, trousers, I guess, for lack of a better word, than whatever's under that skirt. Why is everybody wearing a skirt in Toho? Except Marku. But seriously, she's got two different color like leggings on or something. It's pretty cool. In barrier shall invite you. Oh, okay. Looks like she's changing up the thing. I don't know what they are. It's just that that's that's pretty much it. It's it's not trousers because she's wearing a dress. So yeah. Oh god, she's got a sword. A golden sword as well. The golden sword of justice! <laughs> yeah, game chat reference, so what? Apparently she's the strongest. So she is the Cherno of their group. I wonder how accurate this estimation really is. But yeah, she is the Cherno of their group, apparently. <laughs> right, let's do quick growth stuff. Um.